Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspen Tech channel. In our today's video, we will see how we can add the component of poll in Aspen Plus. This is the most awaited video as I have received a lot of comments on how to add the coal, the solid, the non-conventional component in Aspen Plus. So I am presenting this video for my valuable viewers. So for this, we will take the components and we will select the certain property package. First, we will see the theoretical aspects. Then we will move to the Aspen Plus for this. So let's assume that we have nitrogen, oxygen and coal that are the components that are available. The property package we will select as ideal. To calculate the enthalpy and density of coal, we will choose the models as H coal and D coal. IGT, these are the standard models which we use for the calculations. Then in specifications, in setup specifications, we will use mix NC non-conventional PSD particle size distribution. Currently, we are using mix CI PSD, which is for the conventional system. But for now, we will use for the non-conventional system because the addition of coal in the system is a non-conventional way. The temperature pressure conditions are 25 degrees centigrade and 1.013 bar for coal. The mass flow rate is 400 kg per hour. The mass fraction for coal is 1. Then we have to provide the three analysis, proximate analysis, ultimate analysis and sulfur analysis. So moisture, fixed carbon, volatile matter and ash. These are provided in proximate analysis. Then ash, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, chlorine, sulfur and oxygen. These are provided in ultimate analysis and this sulfur is 1.3 so what we need to do then we have to provide the values in sulfur analysis then we have to specify the particle size distribution obviously there are different intervals we will see once we go there so we have randomly selected some weight fractions and this is just an example and an overview of how coal is added in the system so at interval 6 the weight fraction is 0.1. Similarly, for interval 7, 8, 9, and 10, these weight fractions are given. For nitrogen and oxygen, the mole fraction is 0.999 of nitrogen, while that of 0.001 is for oxygen. The mass flow rate is 2000 kg per hour. The pressure is 1.013 bar, and the temperature is 132 degrees centigrade. And then there is a flash separator whose duty is 0, and pressure is 0 bar or 1.013 bar 0 bar means there is no pressure drop in the system so let's quickly move to s1 plus and see how we can add the coal we will be adding coal we will be adding a nitrogen stream then we will add a flash separator and separate these two streams from each other so what we will do we will first add the components nitrogen will be added then oxygen will be added which is a conventional component then we will add coal as a component but it is not available in the library and it is a non-conventional component. Now click on this next and we will select ideal as the property package. Then click on next and we have to specify the enthalpy and density methods for the calculations. There are different methods available. We will select H coal R8 coal enthalpy model available in release 8. Based on the option code values entered, component attributes alternal, which represents ultimate analysis, sulfur analysis, sulfur analysis and proxonal which is proximate analysis while for density it will be d coal igt coal density model based on igt correlation once we have done we will click on this one and once results are available we will go to the simulation environment the first thing which we have to do we have to go to the setup and in setup specifications we have to change the stream class from conventional to the mix and c psd with substream mixed and c with PSD use when you have non-conventional solids present with particle size distribution. So we will select this one to ensure that coal is added in the system. Now we will select the flash separator over here and then we will do the connections. This one is for coal and this one is for nitrogen and vapor stream and the liquid stream. We will say it as a coal so that coal is added in its now clicking on this nitrogen first and we will see how we add the components this is the mix in which we add the temperature pressure and corresponding information for the stream like for nitrogen we have been given that it is at 132 degrees centigrade 0 0.013 bar the mass flow rate is 2000 kg per hour per rate of mole fraction is 0 0.999 nitrogen well 0 0.001 for oxygen and it is satisfied as you can see nitrogen has been ticked but for coal it is a non-conventional solid 
So instead of specifying it in mixed, we will go to NC solid. So this NC solid is active once you go to the specifications and changes to mix NC PST. So what we need to do once again, we will come back to coal and NC solid. We will write its properties as 25 degree centigrade, 1.013 bar. The mass flow rate is 400 kg per hour. The mass fraction for coal is 1. But that is not enough. We have to specify the component attribute and particle size distribution. So what we need to do? Component ID is cold. First one is approximate analysis, which we have to given here. So in proximate analysis, the value of moisture is 25. Fixed carbon is 45.1. Volatile material or volatile matter is 45.7. And that of ash is 9.2. Once we have specified all these, this has become ticked. But the coal is still not satisfied because we have to specify the ultimate analysis and in that the ash is 9.2 same as that of specified in proximate analysis carbon is 67.1 hydrogen is 4.8 nitrogen is 1.1 chlorine is 0.1 sulfur is 1.3 and oxygen is 16.4 so once you have specified all these the last part is the sulfur analysis the total sulfur is 1.3 in its value so what we need to do in sulfur null we have to specify the values of pyritic sulfate organic but that should not be above 1.3 or the value which is of sulfur 0.6 so 0.1 and 0.6 so once you have specified the sulfur null alternal and proxenal the proximate analysis ultimate analysis and sulfur null analysis the component attribute is now ticked but now we have to specify the particle size distribution and in particle size distribution now you can see there are 10 intervals with each interval of 20 value and the unit is mu for this so what we need to do we have been given that the weight fraction at interval 6 is 0.1 for interval 7 is 0.1 for interval 8 is 0.2 and for interval 9 is also 0.2 and the remaining value 0.4 is for interval 10 so this one shows that all the values have been counted so the total weight fraction is 1 so it means all the values are considered in the system. So once you have done it, go to this flash separator and give it specifications. The duty value is zero, while that of no pressure drop. So you can specify it either as zero or 1.013 bar. So click on this run, and once after running, the results will be available for us. And you can see now results are available. It has been converged successfully. The coal is added in the system. This is a simple representation that coal is separated from the nitrogen system. And you can see that obviously in S3, which is a vapor in the system, nitrogen and oxygen are present while in the liquid phase system, we have the coal in the system. So this is simple separation which we have done. But the major learning from this activity was how to add coal in the system. So I hope that all the valuable viewers who are asking this question have got the answer of adding the coal or any other component like you can add rice husk in the same way or any other biomass in the same way so that's it from today's lecture thank you so much i hope you have understand the video if you have any query any suggestion any feedback please give it in the comment box and uh, please subscribe to the channel like the video share the video and stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel thank you so much